Uh, can you tell us where we are right now and what it is we're doing? This is for the viewers at home who have no oh, clue about okay. this. We're doing the, are you serious? I am serious. Why is there a poster behind you instead of Piper a plant? Piper always has posters always, in her bedroom. I carry posters. We're in my bedroom, and I always have posters of myself there. Yeah, <laughs> no. We are doing, we are in the Regency Hotel in New York City. In Talking to you. Talking to you. About a, this. Cold day in January about Imagine Me and You. Right. Were you here yesterday for the flying trees? No, what's that mean? Uh, the windstorm. It was a big windstorm. 35 oh, miles an hour flying trees. I was trees. here. I didn't That's see any trees. That's why turbulence when I flew over. Oh. She just flew in. Um, we will be talking about deleted scenes on the DVD. <gasps> Not today, but later, I hope. Cool. I was just curious if you guys wanted to have more sex in the film. Definitely. I think most generally in life I feel that way. Yeah. Right. For myself. Yeah. Did, was there a reason everybody backed off? I felt off robbed. Or? I think, you know, the movie, it's a romantic comedy. Right. It's not a drama. And so to keep a certain pace and a certain tone, it makes more sense the level of sexuality that you see is appropriate for the this level of comedy. Right. And for you guys, uh, you'd worked together before. Um, so I guess that's not talking about Actually, that. when did you work? When was the... I don't know. What? Tell me the... Tell me the yeah. <coughs> next question. Next question. Just kidding. <laughs> What? <laughs> the whole deleted scene is that <laughs> film, actually. When the deleted scene section is the film we did together before. <gasps> I don't Do know you what talk about it? I don't know anything. Don't we... Know anything. You talk about it. Can you? <laughs> what? We can. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, really fine. Then I'm about. totally... Um, um, what have people been asking you today? What, what are the, what are the um, questions you're getting over and over again? We're getting a lot of questions about... Do you believe in love at first sight? Yes. Um, right. And the answers are... I think it definitely exists. I think that whether or not you can entertain that feeling at that time is a different matter. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I think that moment definitely exists. Timing is everything. So. Timing mm -hmm. is a bitch. Yeah. What other kinds of questions are you getting asked? Um, aren't we excited that Brokeback Mountain is doing so well and we're in a gay film? And then we say, we're not we in a no gay horses. film. We have no horses and this is a love story. So do you feel like this is more a more traditional romantic comedy and they just sort of swapped the guy for you? I think it yeah. just happens to be this is the person that you know what I mean? I don't think it's I don't think of it as a gay film really. Mm. No, I don't think so. Do you? No. And I think it's about love and timing. Love and timing. Although I did read and have been reading a little bit, apparently within the lesbian community, this is an issue of women who are married and then come out. And actually, some woman has even sort of made a little business for herself um, counseling women who yeah. obviously have the same situation that your character has where they don't want to hurt their spouse. What do they do? And it just happens. They've discovered themselves in the middle of a marriage. I think it would be, it would be hard for anyone who was married to then realize that they were actually in love with someone else. You would need as much help and sort of to talk about that. But I think, I mean, it is kind of interesting because it's not really talks about that much, women kind of leaving marriages for other women, really, but there's always, you know, there's all, it's well kind of documented that there are a lot of guys that marry, have children, and then, you know, in their 50s suddenly freak out and say, this isn't who I am, you know what I mean? This isn't reality for me. So that's kind of interesting that... Yeah, and I think you're right. I, I associate it with male midlife crisis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. whereas yeah. I or think... Or people like just, you know, kind of suffocating the their real feelings, you know what I mean? Okay. Now, if you look at the film, what's your take on it, the two of you? Honestly. It's hard for me to look at films that I do. I can't see it as a film when I look at what the work that I do. I'm so close to it, I can't see it like I see other films. Do you know what I mean? I'm remembering that day's right? work, and I know what was happening to her in real life on that day, and thinking about our, you know what I mean? You're so ingrained in it, I can't see it as a film. I think I love it but I can't really tell. <laughs> I took a, a lot of friends to see it in London, and they all, I think it was, you know, it's the first, the first time you see a film, I think, is always really hard, because you're like, I didn't think I did that, I didn't think I did that. But all of my, you know, all my pals came out, and they just said it's such a love, you know what I mean? They were like, we laugh, we cried, so, it, you know. We laughed, we cried. Yeah. <laughs>